architects often find themselves immersed in front of computer screens dedicating long hours doing design work. However, the true essence of our profession lies not just behind screens, but out in the field where the real action happens. Today I want to share with you how I bring the same intentionality I apply to creating my workspace into the essentials I carry with me when I step outside to work on site. For those of you who are joining me for the first time, I'm Emmy, an architect and design professional who also loves tech, everyday carry, and productivity principles. Welcome to my channel where we explore the art of purposeful design both in our physical surroundings and the everyday things we use. To start things off, I want to talk about the sling that I bring with me. Recently, my friends over at Alpaca Gear got in touch with me, offering a sneak peek at their latest innovation, the Vertex Pouch, a multifunctional sling designed to meet the demands of modern urban living. It has three modes of functions. It can be your usual tech pouch, a desk caddy, and a sling. Seeing that it features a multifunctional design, I find its versatility to be especially useful when I'm doing site work. One standout feature that I can't get enough of is the magnetic flap. This clever addition keeps the pouch wide open, ensuring quick and organized access to everything I need. Inside, you'll discover a thoughtfully subdivided interior. The primary sleeve comfortably houses my iPad Mini 6, a powerful tool that simplifies my on-site inspections. It fits snugly into Moft's functional snap case and stand, a versatile accessory I previously featured in another video. In the middle section, I stash two Field Notes notebooks, these little companions are essential for streamlined note-taking during site visits, especially when I'm cross-checking measurements. I prefer the compact and lightweight design of these black field notes notebooks, and their durable covers even offer some resistance to water. When it comes to writing and sketching, I have been using this Pilot Acru 300 ball pen for about two years now, and I can say that it's one of the best investments I made. It has a great feel to it, has a quick dry ink which prevents smudges whether I'm writing or sketching. To keep it perfectly organized within the pouch, I place it snugly into the magnetic sectional divider alongside a sleek black ruler from Muji. Behind this magnetic divider is a secret section where you can put small things like SD card readers, but for now, I just put this small stash of sticky notes for on-site callouts. This is from Muji as well. Nestled within the two convenient mesh pockets, I put my Laser Mesher Pro from Hoto, which is a really handy tool for gathering data on site, especially when it comes to hard to reach edges, ceilings, and long walls. Beside it is my Orbit Key Key Organizer in black. It doesn't only hold my keys in place, but it also has a multi tool which can be useful for different site scenarios. On the other mesh pocket, I have my actual measuring tape, also from Hodo, and this baby banter knife from Civivi, which is useful for opening boxes of delivered materials on site. And the front section of the bag is where my phone rests for a quick and easy access. The front pocket has a two-way access, and this is where I store my card holder and my current favorite earbuds, which are the Nothing Ear 2s. With its compact footprint, the Vertex pouch excels in accommodating multiple essentials while enhancing intuitive organization. As a sling, it simplifies life on the go thanks to the included strap, which not only boasts a soft padding for comfort, but also secures my belongings effortlessly with its convenient magnetic lock. Furthermore, when utilized as a desk caddy, the Vertex pouch shines by offering added convenience, standing upright to keep my workspace tidy and accessible. Now let's talk about materials. The Vertex pouch is available in two distinctive variants, both crafted from upcycled water bottles. The first variant showcases their signature Axaflux fabric exterior paired with a grey honeycombed interior, while the second variant flaunts an X-Pac RX36 exterior complemented by striking blood orange honeycombed interiors. These eco-friendly choices not only look great, but also contribute to the movement of manufacturing for a more sustainable future. Both variants have water-resistant surfaces and excellent weatherproof zippers to protect the gear inside of the bag. One of the features I do wish they included is a back pocket for quick and easy access to some small personal essentials like small wallets or card holders. And due to its slimmer profile, I also find the space to be a little limited, but it works well enough for me to just keep the essentials to a minimum. And lastly, its size and shape can also be challenging when packing it like a tech pouch inside a backpack since it's not as edgy as their Elements tech case. So who is it for? I would recommend this link for design and construction professionals such as myself and for people who generally bring a lot of small tools and essentials that badly require organization and ease of access. It's also a great pouch for on-the-go gamers who have a Nintendo Switch since it can fit one inside together with a wireless controller and gaming earphones. The game cards can also be placed inside the hidden zipper section. 
Overall, the Vertex pouch in my experience as a professional is a great solution for my on-the-go concerns. It's a great carry that has ample enough space for organization, and as a standalone sling, it offers a lot of versatility despite some minor limitations. The Vertex pouch is Alpaca Gear's 13th Kickstarter project, and if you'd like to check it out for yourself, link is in the description below. If you found value in this video, please leave a comment below about your typical organization needs and how you curate your essentials. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, ask and I'll do my best to answer them. With that being said, happy packing, and I'll see you again in the next one. Cheers!